Speaking of young kids, G, Amani Bates was a bright spot in the All-Star weekend. He led both his teams in their Rising Star games in scoring. They lost in the finals. Amani continues after our interview to uh, prove people wrong. G, at this point, has he earned a shot on the NBA level? Has he earned the right to get some minutes here down the stretch? Uh, you know, that's all that, that that's that's all all up to, you know what I'm saying? What because that's the one of the one of the questions I asked him. I said, What are they telling you? Um, that they want to get some some minutes. What did he say to that? He said they just want me to continue to work on defense. Um, defense, defense, defense. They know I can score, they know I can shoot. It's about, you know what I'm saying, getting in that rotation. It's about playing defense. Now here's the thing about basketball. You know, we just had two guys go down. And, uh, you know, a lot of times it ain't really about like, oh, did you deserve minutes? There's a lot of people that deserve minutes. It's about the opportunity, yeah. right? So when you get that opportunity, you got to go in and do your thing. But like I said before, I told him he was going to get buckets. I said it, you know, when I saw him in the, in the rising uh, challenges. So to me, I'll say this, and this may seem crazy. A lot of people say uh, Evan Mobley is the, is the key. But there's two ways you can skin and cat. If, if you can come in next year and then Monty Bates and took another leap, you know he can score, you can put some weight on him and play defense. Now, look what you got. You got now, instead of Max Struess, you got a guy that's 6'9", that can knock down <laughs> shots, and now you can move Max Struess to the bench, and you don't need Evan Mobley to be getting 25 points a game. So it's more than one way to skin and cat. I think he's a big part of the big piece. And I think they're going to go with that youth movement, seeing that Craig Porter Jr. just got that four-year deal. And I think um, Sam Merrill is going to get a deal. I think the Cavs' future is very bright. So to wrap this up, because I know we got to get to the Black History moment, to answer you directly, yes, I do think he's done enough to earn an opportunity to play some real minutes. But I don't think that's going to happen now. I think that J.B. Bickerstaff already is having an issue trying to play what's become a very deep, you know, 10 to 11 man rotation. Sure. But uh, I believe with him on a two way contract, the Cavs can have him active for about 50 games. So if the Cleveland Cavaliers, once we get, you know, the end of March, early April, and the Cavaliers have locked up wherever they're going to be seated at in the playoffs, I think for the rest of that season, once you know exactly where you are and you can't move up or down, let Imani come in, man, and get as much run as he possibly can. Because to G's point, you know, in the next year, maybe two years, you hope that he is starting to realize his potential. And now that's that 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 three, uh, you know, that that's a pure score. That's a shooter. That's that athlete that you want. So I think Imani's problem is he's just with the wrong team. Um, I, when when I saw this question from you, Mike, originally, I asked this. I said, what does he offer that no one else can bring? And that's where I had a problem with finding sizable minutes for Amani. Um, he is, Mike, please help me if I'm out of bounds on this. He's a shooter. He's a guy that can score, but there are so many mm -hmm. other boxes that he currently doesn't check. And if you're going to, and that makes him a niche player. That's accurate right now. Right now. Can change, right now. Right now. Yeah, it's accurate. Now he's got to get bigger. I worry for his bones. He's so damn slight. I mean, this is a grown man's league. We said that about Evan Mobley, and Evan Mobley has put some weight on A little bit. Yeah. I still want him to get bigger, but I think that he's a nice project. I love the fact that the organization has been very clear with him. You need to play defense. You need to go down to the G League, and you need to learn how to play defense. And if he can come back and have some semblance of a defensive game, because I haven't seen it yet, if he can develop that, now you can say, okay, this is a guy that can d deserve some rotational minutes, mm -hmm. and let's see what happens. Yep. But I think, I think his growth is probably being stunted by the fact that, and you said this, Earl, there are a lot of guys in this, on this team that deserve minutes probably more than he does. Yeah, but you know what, though? Tyvis said something last week, and I kind of agree. You know, I think that – I think he's on the right team. I think he's in the you right do. situation. Okay. I think he's on the right organization. But this is a marathon. This isn't a sprint. I like that and, approach. And the yeah. fact that it is that, I think that if he can just continue to just be still, continue to work hard, as he said, make the main thing, the main thing, stay patient, keep grinding, then you can reach your potential right, right here with the Cleveland Cavaliers. All right, give us your black history a moment. Uh, I wish we had more time.